This Island Earth. When this island earth is discussed, the scene most likely to be called in technicolor detail is one in which the bug headed mutant takes off the hot the hot pursuit of Faith Donagu, a girl well worth pursuing. Certainly the king sized cockroach in this in the International Lease is one of the scene's most memorable monsters. His heavily veined, double com- compartmented head towering above the soft fledged humans on the eerie planet. Mutaluna takes a striking pi- makes a striking picture. The effect is no strike of luck. Either the result of a tenuous w- work by UI Master Makeup Man man who also gave the screen a cultural heritage of Frankenstein Dracula, and more recently the creature from the Black Lagoon. There is much more to this movie than just a buggy masterpiece. Recently, I looked at its film vaults and we removed its copy to its epic to view. All the colour excitement is still there. All the fearsome fields of stalking insects immune to bullets, bombs and rays, there is more. Faye Stoglagoo's delicate, holding face is a reminder of the fact that she is one of Moodledon's most beautiful woman. She is as lovely and lively off the screen as on. She is helpless enough as a heroine to raise Balanagoose himself from his coffin, but the mention is barring a bug man to new heights of horror. Opposite Faith in this island of Earth, a rugged Rex Reason, and brooding Jeff Morrow, both whom have become Western stars on television. In this island earth, they betray a young scientist and some what sinister alien. They, Rex and Jeff, head one of the most skilled and accomplished casts in space film annuals. The motion picture, released in 1955, was over two and a half years in preparation, adapted for the novel by science, star science fictioner. Raymond F. Jones. Universal Pictures paid one of the most unbelievable figures in cinema history for the film rights. Catching the lucky assignment of producing the film was over a popular William Arnold, who featured fa- fathered the space children and Broadway the Colossus of New York. But Bay Avers, Bill Avers, that, w- that this was one. With his toughest jobs and often recounts amusing stories of what happened during the filming of Island, at the time when Faith for Reason was trapped in a colossus plastic tube, and when Jeff Moreau stepped between the poles of electric art to see how the special effects men managed the illusion. Other incidents that reeled the class crew had as much fun and excitement making the production as the audience did seeing it. The tides of this island earth swept in from Turbulent winds, strange currents hell, a plane piloted by Carl Minchin. Out of control, a strange green ray, almost like Hal Georgian's powering beam Fimna, stabs down from the sky and scoops a failing jet, allowing it to la- land safely. Later, Cal begins to give serious thought to the origin of the green rays and scoops up aeroplanes. This perceptive faults are interrupted by the arrival of a catalogue of apparatus in his laboratory. Even though he's a well-known scientist, completely unfamiliar with the items shown, finding the parts from one of the unfortunate instruments listed in the catalogue arrive, Cal turns his fine hand of fashioning a model, working model of the device, the intercolotera. Cal fits together his super science jigsaw, turns it on, not knowing what happened, Triangular screens lights up. Cal sees the face of man, white hair. It is this high dome silver thatch exeter who asks Cal to come to his secluded workhouse in Georgia. The clearest young scientist undertakes the trip, hoping there will be not be any more grave. Undertaking involved 
plus the establishment in Georgia, apparently it's inhabited solely by exes and relatives. They have all the same towering dome, dome backed with silver hair. Cole encounters a com- commonly co-ed with his Ivy League day, striking Ruth Adams, Mr. Lungu. The impressive rectors are reveals little to the two college enemy as they proceed through a course of experiments to discover a source of a nuclear fusion other than uranium. The two begin to suspect that Exeter isn't exactly excellent at security risk. Cohen Ruth decide that white haired about the family is far a little too far out to really be in and set about eloping. But as Carl and Ruth make a try for the wide open spaces, Exeter steps in, tell them they're going to be headed for some very wide space or route to the planet Melitola. Both the young scientists take this information by a wink of an eye as a stolic a demonstration of sheer courage as a screen has ever boasted. The kindly Exeter assume, assures them with nothing to fear and turns the crimson death ray on several other lab assistants making a break for freedom, destroying his massive secret laboratory in a classic temper tantrum. Meanwhile, Ruth and Carl made it as far as the light plane, the physical physicist pilots, the ship through the white clouds, a green ray once again fans down over the aircraft. The plane is sucked into a mammoth flying saucer, as definitely as a teenager strucking up a nickel coal coke. Two young scientists are given a cook's tour the souls by kidnapper Exeter. They react with the same admiral stolic calm to accumulate. They're travelling light years through interstellar space to the grey heads home world, Metalona, a planet fighting for existence amongst cosmic forces of destruction held at bay only for the use of atomic power. That's enough tough rhetoric to serve, murmurs mur- mur- sympathetic athletic Carl. But things are getting worse. Exeter Avers, because they stopped power of uranium is running out, but they need a new source of energy, a source macaroon and roof must discover for them. A simple enough task for Cal Megalum, the radicals are being forced to work at it, particularly off salary. But there is no more wrangling time left. The flying disc of sources down to explosion, shaken Manaluna to find it nearly a dead planet with only a few Mentalinians alive. One of Exodus insurgent countrymen and moon turns uh, it is the monitor. Chief of the planet, an ancient, impossible, posing figure, enthroned before the space travelling trio. Monitor communicates that he plans to take over Earth. His people, in spite of Carl and Ruth explaining all the troubles he'll be letting himself in for on Earth. Irritated by the young couple's stubborn refusal to help exterminate their own race, Monitor orders them to into a machine that will rob them of all their, their willpower destroy their minds for everything but routine work. It works like the tubes in a giant TV set with graphs in horror, even as they are fed into the monstrous device. The outlaw planet Zorogon strikes against Motoluna, and the world lunges into a death throes while the Motoluna slaves and half-human insect mutants revolt in flesh-tearing terror. Mauled by one of the bug-eyed, bug-headed monsters, Exa never Ness manages a free roof and cow, exchange for his soft heart, helps him escape the doomed world. Once again, the, with the Earth's atmosphere, Carl and Ruth pilot their stored aircraft to safety from the defense flying machine, which with a dying ex- Exeter f- fantastically, fantastically dies to night sea. So it so ends one of Hollywood's more attractive space adventures. Large part of the film's attraction lies in the work of the Bud Westmore's UI makeup department, creating Jeff Malone's and other Metalunians' alien heads. Of course, by fashioning the memorable mutants with a head five times the size of normal, mutant not the justified proud makeup art chief, Metalunian monster, has a brain that is completely visible. 
This reflection of script, scriptures Franklin Cole and Edward G. Callaghan reveals bulging eyeballs, survival at Ed Cantor interlaced with night of the veins supported by facial muscles. The commander director Joseph Newman, the creature Karenian pul- pulsates around five layers of lips while lobes of claw hands dangle to its ankles. Despite a cost of $24,000, Newton has found it difficult to find further work because it considered to, to be tight cost as mental, metal man monster. This island earth remains a level spectacular action in the universe of super science that grows ever closer to us earthlings as we travel further into the future each day of our lives. Pictures from this, this island earth.